Hi, it's Peter here for Peter and Karen. Um, we've got a beautiful uh, urban tungsten tough 20 foot 6 fan which we've had now for about five months. Uh, we got it last September after waiting for a couple of years like most people do. Just to uh, the purpose of this video is to um, show you how we've gone about installing our new Starlink which we got um, a couple of weeks ago. We've got the Generation 3 Starlink. Um, it's, it's probably, I think it's probably better or easier to, easier to install than from what I've seen of the previous versions. Um, the main uh, thing to make it easier to install is the fact that it comes with Cat6 cables. Uh, or RJ45 Cat, Cat6 cables which means it's very easy to put in and you can get replacement cables whenever you need to. Um, did a bit of research on on YouTube and other places to try and find out the best way to install the Starlink because I wanted it to be installed in the van without a whole heap of setup every time we wanted to use it. Unfortunately most of the videos were to do with the generation 1 and 2 Starlinks and was all about the, the special cable um, that Starlink had in those models which is not really applicable um, well it's not applicable to the Gen 3 so we wanted to try and find some information tips and etc that other people have, have done but it was pretty uh, scarce so anyway this video is to just show you what we've done and uh, to give people who are looking to get Starlink or already have it some ideas about how to go about setting it up. So you need to buy a little bit of hardware because out of the box you, you get the dish which uh, I'll show you over here is the, is the new dish. This is the, this is the dish here. It's, it um, doesn't have the stand on the back of it like the generation 2. I've actually taken the bracket out of this but it literally just sits on the on the ground at 20, 20 degrees just like this. The other bits of hardware come with it is the Wi-Fi uh, router which is this gadget here and the power uh, box, 240 power box. So we look for positions to mount this, trying to find the best way to exit the caravan. We looked at under the bed, but we found that this to be the best place. Now this is basically the power point where the microwave plugs in. You can see up here we've changed the single power point with a double power point. Just went to Bunnings and got a new faceplate and, and wired that in. The other thing we did was went and got this blanking plate and we bought from Space Tech a wall socket drilled a 23 mil hole in that in that blanking plate and a 23 mil hole through the panelling through the cupboard to run that through and then just we just put a small short piece of Cat6 cable in here um, and then on the outside going to a socket we've got on the wall which we'll go to in a sec there's another length a section of cat6 cable that we just went and bought from Bunnings and uh, and ran it from this point here through to the outside wall it goes down through the cavity in the back of the fridge which gives you clear access um, I'll we'll go outside in a minute and I'll have a look at that and just to keep the power unit off off the out of the way and off the off the um, cupboard Floor, we've um, put some double-sided tape on the back of that and stuck it up on the wall. So this is the back of the fridge. You can take the vent off up the top there. Gives you gives you good access to get in behind. And from Space Tech, uh, we bought this wall socket through wall socket. Now I was a bit worried about drilling a 51 mil hole, which is what you need for this in the uh, in the wall side of the caravan so we found this location seemed to be the best of all worlds there's nothing behind this area there's there's no um, stud framing and there's no wiring 
it's clear and you can get access to it through the through the vent up the top so this um, this RJ45 Cat6 wall socket you basically plug your cable in and on the inside there we have a cable that goes from there to the wall socket I showed you inside the cupboard and that basically then gives us our um, our connection through to the Starlink dish. The other thing we bought from um, Space Tech was this aluminium uh, pole mount. Not cheap, it was $190 but it's aluminium, it's not going to ever break and I just looked at this compared to some of the plastic, moulded plastic ones that were on the market and decided that for an extra sort of 100 bucks having something that's going to be fairly robust would be worthwhile. Probably a couple of things when this comes from Space Tech where these are it's actually um, socket head cap, cap screws and allen headed um, uh, grub screws it's a bit of a pain having to get a uh, allen key out all the time so I went to Bunnings and bought these these eye bolts M6 stainless eye bolts basically now it becomes a thumb screw so you can screw it in and out uh, the Cat6 cable um, the one that comes with this is actually grey but I had a little bit of an altercation damaged the cable had to go to Bunnings and buy a new cable so this is a 20 meter cable also bought one of these um, uh, multi reels which keeps the cable in good order stops it from getting damaged um, and this is where it plugs into the wall and the other end plugs up under the up under the dish um, we put a uh, decided we wanted to not just have it sitting on the ground all the time where it can get potentially run over or people damaging so we have made up a pole uh, this this is a pole that you buy from Clark Rubber it's a pool pool cleaning pole um, it's the longer one it will extend out quite long and you'll need to cut about 300 mil off the end of it so it's not wider than the van uh, so you cut about 300 mil off the outer outer tube and about 350 mil off the inner tube and I just got a piece of PVC um, a, a joiner and put over the end and that allows our mount that allows our mount to fit on and you do up the thumb screws to tighten that up Alright, I'll go through now and, and set it up and you can see um, how it all works. Cable in. Bring this over, I just hang it on there like so. And then you, you put that onto there. Sorry, make sure that the cable lines up through the slots. That comes up, you then do the thumb screws up. You don't need too much tension, otherwise you'll punch the screws through the plastic. Just enough. There's a little slot in there that it lock that it, it sits into. Just do the screws up like so, and that's it. Then I'm not going to put the the uh, pole extended all the way up because it doesn't need to be. So take the pole out of the uh, out of the bracket here. That's just a jockey wheel uh, clamp. And I just stand it up, making sure the cable does not fall over bring it up vertical and then I've put another jockey wheel clamp on the side of the uh, jerry can holder here which happens to be at a perfect height um,
then you just pull the cable out. Just you only just need enough and run that around. Yes, I'll rotate the dish in a second. Run that around, plug her into there. Put the waterproof cover over it. It all comes as part of the uh, the socket kit that you buy from Space Tech. Don't do that up quite tight. Do that up first. It's tight. And then just nip that up. And then just make sure that this comes down underneath the heater here. Otherwise, you'll burn, melt the cable, which I've already done once. And uh, we'll just rotate the dish around. There we go. So you just rotate the dish. That I know that that's the southern sky there. You can push this up higher if you want it to clear the van. Um, if your van's not quite in the right direction. But here we had this on last night and we found we didn't need to go any higher than this and it worked. It worked really good to the southern southern sky. Anyway, that's our Starlink installation. 